So all of this boggles the mind. It's about deprogramming and unplugging from the matrix. And I'm using the word matrix very, very, very loosely because that's definitely what it is. And I have been systematically deprogramming myself from the matrix. The matrix of words and context and parts of speech and understanding between perception and fact. And when I was picking apart the English language by looking up words and seeing the parts of speech, and then I was watching uh, the Netflix uh, movie, The America's Book of Secrets about the Freemasonry and what Freemasonry, what they study is logic and grammar and mathematics. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's about wordplay. It's about brainwashing. It's about controlling people's immune systems, controlling the population, controlling immune systems and compartmentalizing and commodifying body parts. And it's your, ba your bodies are being sold to the highest bidder out there on the open market. So it finally hit me when I am looking at the word immunity and when uh, it's used in the legal world, it's like you're not, you're immune to prosecution. You're immune to somebody uh, charging you with crimes because you have helped, you have turned state's evidence, okay? That keeps you immune to any kind of punishment. When someone is immune to a disease, they're immune to evolution because disease is evolution. When you're boosting your immunity, what are you doing? You're creating antibodies. When you're creating antibodies, you deaden parts of those parts of your body with antibodies that are being produced by the uh, innate and the adaptive immune system. The innate immune system is where the body has a specific design, okay? Based upon, see, I know it's a little bit slow here, it's okay based upon the intelligence of the universe. And then you have an adaptive immune system where antibodies get produced based upon training the body to adapt to a specific condition. And that's why there is autoimmune disorders because the synthetic influencing of your immune system by synthetically creating antibodies to then go and, well, they're bioengineered, bioengineered antibodies to go and target a specific system and then the antibodies are then overproducing. And when they're overproducing, this is when they attack the system and this is where autoimmune disorders come from. So when somebody says boost your immune system, they're boosting your death trajectory, anesthetizing you. So you don't feel pain, you don't feel evolution and it deadens part of your body. And then eventually it deadens your whole body. When somebody dies from a heart attack and a stroke, it's because the antibodies became so prevalent that it destroyed the body. When you take a RH um, or blood type O negative and you infuse A positive or AB positive blood, guess what? All that antigen creates antibodies. It shuts the organs down. Antibodies are the destruction. Boosting your immunity is destruction. It's more destruction. It's man playing God with somebody's innate design, with their DNA. That's why I have the focus about antibodies. And then you see the holistic allopathic going like, oh yeah, we're going to boost your immune system. We're going to boost it with kombucha, apple cider vinegar, herbs, extracts, cannabis, chemotherapy, all of that. It increases the antibodies to where they alter your biochemistry and alter your DNA, causing more destruction. And can you see me correctly? I don't like how. That's okay. It's not super clear, but. Let's see. But, anyways, immunity, boosting your immune system is accelerating the death process. When you actually feel pain, you are bypassing the death process and you are finally evolving. And so when they say, oh yeah, you need a vaccine, you need antibodies to protect you, from what? From the pain, from evolution. Don't be immune to evolution. And that's exactly what the holistic allopathic market is doing, is they're making you immune to evolution. And that's why we have such a fall of society. That's why we have activists, that's why we have 
people with cancer disease and chronic illness never getting better. This is freaking insane. I just, it just hit me when I said, you know, I'm immune to all the criticism. I'm dead to all the criticism, but I'm not dead. I'm just adapted. It doesn't phase me anymore. But oh no, when someone says, oh, I'm immune to a disease. No, you're immune to evolution. You are stagnant. Oh, I'm immune to cancer. I'm immune to the measles. You know, what is this, the definition of immunity? It actually, it's an adjective. So it's all about perception. Immune adjective. That cannot catch or be affected by a particular disease or illness. Adults are often immune to German measles. That's their example to programming to thinking that vaccines will make you protected from what? From evolution, from pain. Because pain is evolution. And then all the painkillers and the vaccines and the antibody acquisition, it's all about stagnating you and making you immune to evolution and then eventual death. Holy shit. The veil has finally dropped. Those that understand me will get it. Those that understand wordplay and propaganda and parts of speech will get it. Those of you that still think boosting your immune system and taking holistic remedies and just simply avoiding the vaccine is going to help you, oh hell no. The antibodies have already been programmed in your body. And just simply avoiding a vaccine or um, not complying with the mask is going to help you, no. The program has already started with you guys. And now you're all distracted by the politics and you're not realizing those antibodies and your holistic remedies are what's destroying you. And every single time you boost your immune system, you're boosting the death acceleration process. Every immune booster. And go do a hashtag on immune boosting. Guess what they recommend? Herbs, extract, anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, antimicrobials, antibiotics, antivirals, antiparasitics, antifungals, all of that destroy you at the micro level. Antibiotics especially, because it's anti-life. It destroys your cells and then it creates antibodies that actually go and do a search and destroy. Oh, we, we don't want the virus. The virus needs a host. You're the host. We're going to do, we're going to apply, impose an antiviral on your body. It destroys the host. You don't know the half of it. Holy shit. <laughs>